Spider Monkey asked the question, says, which, which of the two were wrong when it came to John Mark before they went their separate ways, Paul or Barnabas? Now, that's a good question. Clearly, Paul was the one who was wrong. Now, I've said this before, and for some reason, others got bothered because I said Paul was wrong. Well, question, is Paul perfect? Was Paul Jesus? No, he was not. Does Paul sin? Did Paul sin? Paul himself admitted to that. Paul had pride. Paul admitted to that. Paul, matter of fact, what does he do with his pride? So much so is his pride an issue. One, the Bible says that a thorn was given to him. Why does Paul say so? So that he would not exalt himself. And Paul mentions about him having this little bit of pride. And rather than boasting about himself, what does he say? He'll boast about his infirmities and boast of the Lord. Now, let's go to Acts 15, 36, and let's see what the case is. After some days, Paul said to Barnabas, let us return and visit the brethren in every city in which we proclaim the word of the Lord and see how they are. Barnabas wanted to take John, called Mark, along with them also, but Paul kept insisting that they should not take him along, who had deserted them in Pamphylia and had not gone with them to the work. And there occurred such a sharp disagreement a sharp disagreement that they separated from one another and Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus and Paul chose Silas and left being committed by the brethren to the grace of the Lord and he was traveling through Syria, Cilicia, strengthening the churches. Now, here's the issue. Being wrong doesn't necessarily mean or equate to sin. So let me just say that. Did Paul sin in this regard? No, Paul didn't sin in this regard. I don't think so. But was Paul wrong? Well, if there's a disagreement, one of three things could be the case. This person's right, that person's wrong, or that person's right, that person's wrong, or both are wrong, but both can be right. So in this case, there's a disagreement. And in this case, it just happened to be that Paul was wrong about John Mark. Paul misjudged John Mark. The Bible didn't say that, that, that the Lord told Paul to do this or that Barnabas, no, there was a disagreement on John Mark. Now, how do we know that John Mark or that Paul was wrong? Well, what does Paul do uh, towards the at the very end on his deathbed. Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 4, I think. Let's start in 11. In 11, he speaks about who has left him, who's no longer with him. And remember, that's an issue. Paul has an issue with people who leave him. Uh, he says he speaks about Demas. He speaks about Titus. He speaks about Creason. Look what he says. Only Luke is with me. Verse 11, pick up Mark. This is John Mark and bring him uh, with you for he is useful to me for service. So he comes to realize, obviously, just like we also do too, that Mark is different than what he was as he did not help or he kind of abandoned them previously. We know that John Mark was useful because we literally have a gospel named after him. We have the gospel according to Mark, the very same person. This is a cousin of Barnabas. So to say, is that to say that Paul uh, was wrong? Sure. But is it also to say that Paul sinned? No, Paul didn't sin, but he was just wrong. His, his assessment of Mark was clearly wrong. Amen.